Hey, um, from America. I am back in the U.S. right now, and as you can tell from my fleece, it's actually winter. I'm experiencing winter in a winter place, so that's uh, cool. Actually, been really good here. I just got back from a blah blah. blah I'm trying to say from spending some time in Sedona, Arizona, and I just wanted to share a couple of the insights that I had from being there. Um, one of which is just Okay, so first of all, Sedona is an amazing place. It's an energy vortex on the planet. So uh, the whole the whole city, and or it's not really a city, the whole area of Sedona is a vortex, meaning that there is um, an extra special type of uh, magnetic and electromagnetic connection. I don't exactly know what the science behind it is, but it's very energetically charged. It's very spiritually charged. And there's different points throughout Sedona that are... Uh, specific vortex points where you can really feel the energy in different ways and the trees are growing in spirals and it's amazing they're amazing places to meditate and just connect back to your true self and what I experienced there was a connection back to more of who I really am and I guess just what I wanted to speak about in this video is how we really can make our way back to a state of a vibrant well-being simply by letting go of everything that isn't who we actually are so I think a lot of times in our life and you know just uh, being told by society that there's all these ways that we can achieve wellness and achieve good mental health, good physical health, um, achieve balance, achieve stability, achieve happiness. And it's like going for these things outside of us. It's like buy this program, take this supplement, get in this exercise regimen, you know, strive for the body you want, strive for the mindset techniques, learn these strategies, right? Like actually our inner wisdom, we already possess everything that we need to know. I'm telling you like the journey to wellness and wholeness, the journey to wholeness is about stripping away everything that isn't who we actually are. And I guess just my trip to Sedona helped me see like I felt more myself there than I have felt in a long time. And I've spent a, a lot of the last few months like searching and, and, you know, kind of being in this seeking mode as I'm working and creating things in my life and projects and exploring different areas and meeting people. I've just kind of had this you know, and I, I guess for a while in Chiang Mai for a few months, I was feeling very lost and um, seeking and just kind of like feeling this um, this discontent, right? Like a, a manifesting in all sorts of ways, like depression, anxiety. And I felt really crazy because I'm in Thailand and I'm supposed to have this amazing life. And I feel so, I feel so terrible sometimes because I've got my, I've got my haircut and bangs are not working. They're too long. Um, so I can't see. Anyway. What was I trying to say? Yes, that, so what I realized was that coming, and then so in that space, going out to nature was constantly a recharge for me. I found myself being away from the noise, away from other people a lot of times, away from comparing myself to what other people are doing and how successful they are and how much money they're making and how far along they are ahead on their path, right? I was going crazy comparing myself to this. And when I would just went away into nature by myself, I could feel my inner truth speaking, and I could let go for five minutes or for a day or whatever. Just let go of everything that wasn't me. And I'm not saying that I that I that I know necessarily like <laughs> to find who I am or something. I, I believe we create who we are. But all I know is that especially this trip in Arizona, which really is a very spiritually charged place as a whole, um, has helped me to strip more away of who I am not in the process of embodying who I am and how I can actually help the world. And I want to encourage you in that process of discovering who you are and how you can help the world in your most authentic way to find ways to let go of who you are not. Okay. So ask yourself sometimes if you're feeling stressed or crazy or all of these emotions that I just explained or any of them or any others, ask yourself, What's not you? Because at your nature, you are well-being. At your nature, you are peace. You are wholeness. At your nature, you're love and you're present. There's nothing wrong with you at your core nature. These pathologies come in when we take on identities that are not who we are. We take on shoulds and comparisons and um, we take on ideas and a lot of it's just mental noise. It's just thoughts. They're not real. We take on these thoughts and we believe them right? So who are you when you're none of those things? And what situations can trigger you to strip those things away and connect back to your truth? So for me, when I was in nature, just on these amazing rocks, climbing up these rocks, like a crazy wild animal 
because it's what we're meant to do as humans. We're supposed to be in nature, raw and rugged and exploring. And I just felt the truth, which was that I'm just energy. I'm present. Um, there's nothing to fix. There's nothing to seek. There's nothing to add on. So for you, there's nothing to add on to who you are right now. There's no more, you know, you don't need any more trainings. You don't need any more upgrades. You don't need any more promotions. You don't need more money. You don't need more validation from others. You don't need more Facebook friends. And you don't need more of anything external. Um, you need less, less messages about who you should be. You need less noise, less <laughs> advertisements, <laughs> less things coming into you that make, that separate you from who you are. So find a way today to take a few breaths, connect to yourself, connect to your truth, and visualize anything that isn't you falling away, melting away. Give yourself permission to let that go. Because I think it's part of our journey on this life, on this planet, and this incarnation, right, is we have to learn. We kind of had to forget who we truly are in attempts to learn the magic of that connection, to remember the magic of, of who we are, because it's too much almost um, to comprehend. And so we've, by nature, accumulated a lot of messages about who we are not. And um, the journey to letting that go and to rediscovering all the answers that we seek in our core, in this divine like light going through us that is us, that's the journey. I'm totally rambling. I know it's a tangent. Those red rocks have gotten to me. Um, anyway, that is all I have to say for now. And I will, uh, yep, I'm going to end this right now. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>